Oh, hi there. I'm Shanna, and I changed my life to become an expat. Here, let me show you. People always ask me, why did you want to become an English teacher? I know the answer they want to hear is, because I love English. English is great. That actually has absolutely nothing to do with it. For me, teaching English isn't actually about English. It's about the opportunity to learn, grow, inspire, and share. It's about the chance to be an expat, travel the world, and challenge every adventure. Anyone who is capable enough to travel the world should do it. Even though it's intimidating to put yourself in an unfamiliar situation for an extended period of time, one where you may not even know the local language, it is without a doubt worth every moment of uncertainty or struggle. There is so much to learn from immersing oneself in different cultures and different places. A lot of people focus on the differences between people throughout the world. But one of the most important things I've learned is that we are all essentially the same. At our core, we all want and crave the same things, even if it's sometimes through different means. We all want to feel connected and fulfilled. We have similar routines, enjoy similar activities, and crave human closeness in some form. We go to school, hang out with friends, take up hobbies, pursue some reflection of a career or job to survive, relax, choose or don't choose to start a family. We all have goals for our future that at some point end in us being happy. And being an expat, we are truly able to see the sameness that we all possess and we are able to connect with people cross-culturally in ways that influence and change both our lives and the lives of others. Through traveling more and living in foreign countries, together we become more open-minded. We break down stereotypes, and in doing so, hopefully we make the future a little bit brighter. Just because we are familiar with a certain path or way of life and doing things doesn't mean that's the only way or the right way for someone else. Expats encounter many different walks of life and it doesn't necessarily mean their path is wrong. It's just different and works well for them. I've also learned that it's important to travel and experience another culture without any expectations. While it's imperative to do some research beforehand to avoid being completely ignorant of a place and local customs, you can learn and experience so much more and avoid any letdown by traveling without presumptions. Be open to new opportunities as they come, and don't be afraid to talk to locals. An expat quickly learns that there will be challenges along the way, in any journey, and it's okay to ask for help. We realize how strong we truly are after overcoming obstacles when, in the past, we may have crumbled before a challenge and failed to see it through and grow. Despite the confidence we gain from overcoming hurdles on our own, in an unfamiliar place, far from the assistance of friends and family, we also learn humility by humbling ourselves to ask for help when we need it. Sometimes that help comes from a mere acquaintance or even a complete stranger who surprises us with their willingness to go out of their way for us. Also, it's important to remember that without challenge, there is no growth. And who really wants to be stagnant? Although I am an expat and an English teacher, one thing I've realized is that we are all teachers in some way, as well as students. It's just as important for people to share their experiences and their journeys with others as it is for us to listen to the experiences and journeys of others. Teaching English to any age isn't solely about teaching English. It's a lesson in life and culture for everyone involved. What a lot of people don't know is that out of my family members, 
I am one of the more able-bodied. A lot of my family suffers from various health issues that limit their ability to travel and have the experiences I've had. For example, my mom has suffered from severe scoliosis and other spinal issues from birth. My sister has been living with an autonomic nervous system disorder called Potts dysautonomia since we were children. They won't ever have the chance to see, hear, smell, touch, and truly experience the things that I have. They can't physically climb a mountain to find a beautiful view and a friendly monk who is willing to have philosophical conversation in broken Japanese. But I can, and I can share that with them and anyone else who is willing to listen. They are one of my biggest inspirations to travel, learn, and share what I'm learning through my social media and what I've often referred to as my Blair Witch style videos, minus the horror. I've been so blessed and so grateful to have the experiences of being an expat, of challenging myself in ways that I never knew I could, of putting myself in countries with people where the main method of communication is a smile, a nod, and even some laughter at our mutual confusion, and for forming connections and relationships with people from all walks of life from all around the world. Teach, travel, explore, be an expat.